Hey guys, what's up? And welcome to another time lapse video. Today, I just wanted to start off by saying thank you so much for all the support on the recent videos. It seems like you guys are really loving these time lapses, and it's really actually been pretty cool. It's been great to see. Um, and I gotta say, the channel is growing at a steady rate, and I'm just super happy with where things are. And uh, definitely want to continue with these time lapses. Um, I do want to say this week could get a bit crazy. I'm not gonna like say that Bruin Build's gonna be late or anything, but if it is, then it's work getting in the way. Um, I'm already been assigned to a few projects that are decent sized so hopefully I'll be able to get those done but I don't know. Now for today's video what I wanted to do is go over some quick tips and tricks on how I go about bringing life to a build. I figured that could be something that's useful so we're just going to go over some uh, ways that I like to bring life to our builds. So the first way that I, the first thing that I want to throw out there is to add roadways to a town to help bring life. Now that seem that seems like it could be obvious, but if you really lay out where the roads are going to be and how people are going to traverse around your town, it's going to really add an extra layer of depth to the area. And in this case, in our, in our village's case, I had to also think of various different bridges and way, walkways to get across this little sort of creek river thing. And I also I wanted to maintain this the ability for small boats like canoes um, and kayaks sort of things to be able to pass under without thunking your head on the on the bridge itself. Um, because that is kind of one of the main transportations that I, I feel like they're going to use. Um, I, I wanted to make this village be interconnected by this waterway and for the villagers to be able to use it as like a transportation area. And so that's something that can really just add extra life is if you take into consideration how people get around your house, your houses and your, your stalls and things. Another way is in older builds like this ancient village is to add a fair amount of clutter to things and make it seem a bit kind of overgrown. Not necessarily like it's not taken care of, but that it's just different. It's it's not like our uh, trimmed lawns and things like that nowadays. Um, that's not really in the minds of these people. They don't really care, I don't think. And so filling in all the open spaces and making it feel a bit a little bit overgrown can help it just feel a touch more alive. And so something else is variety in housing and incorporating kind of small outdoor work areas like stalls for a vendor to sell crops at that can add an additional layer of meaning to various parts of your town. Um, and don't be afraid to make the stalls and stores and things super tight and tiny areas for the people to sell things at. I just managed to squeeze a stall into this tiny portion on this wall and it's really worked out. It really adds a lot along the pathway there and it fills in a blank spot without making it having to be just a bunch of crates and barrels and stuff stacked up. And so you can get creative with the items uh, that you sell. I chose pumpkins purely because Waffle Stick had used pumpkins in his uh, big hole build. And so I decided to just stick with that theme as it felt right for the area. And so I think that is going to be it on the quick tips and tricks for bringing life to your villages. Um, that's just some very quick things that I like to do to make an area feel a bit more alive. And I kind of wanted to focus that on that uh, in today's episode because the village was, while it was coming along and looking really cool, uh, I wanted to make it really feel like the end game, what it's going to be when we're fully finished. And so I decided to focus on that instead of building up a ton of things today. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you did, leave a like on the video. And if you uh, like everything that's happening here, feel free to subscribe. Join the little family we've got going here. And uh, yeah, guys, I think that's going to do it. I'll see you guys in the next video.